and hold control and hit minus on a numpad. And this is exactly the solution we need right here. Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to use boolean modifiers to quickly create the stylized sci-fi crates and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave the like and if you are new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through low poly illustration all the way to full character illustration and textured environment so if you are interested please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all let me just delete the light here so drag a selection press x and delete and again we'll make use of the default cube it gets chance to shine again so let's just select it and first of all let me tap into the edit mode let's go for the edge select hold ctrl and alt and click the side edges here and we'll press ctrl b and create the bevel here if you have more segments here just reduce them with the mouse wheel and create a shape like this here now tab out and let's press shift A and we'll add another cube. Now tab into the edit mode, press S to scale it up and S then Z to scale it on the Z axis. And now we can tab out and move it up to create a division like this. And now let's press shift A and we'll create yet another cube. And now let's enable X-ray view. Let's look from the front by pressing one on the numpad. Let's tab into the edit mode, press S and scale it down like this now we can tab out let's look from the side by pressing 3 on an ampad press g then y and move it towards the front so it kind of intersects with the cube here now let's disable the x-ray view and we can press g and z and move it above the line here just like this and now we'll just combine everything uh using the boolean modifier but before we do let's activate the bool tool add-on so go edit preferences add-ons and search for bool and just check the box here and close the preferences. This will make manipulating the objects using the booleans much easier, much more straightforward. So now we can just select the main cube and go to the modifiers panel and let's add bevel modifier. This will make all the edges uh, nice and clean. So let's increase the segments here and let's reduce the amount like this. Now in the shading, we'll enable hard and normals. And in the geometry, let's enable arc for the miter and now let's right click and shade auto smooth and now you will get those nice smooth edges and let's just start with the boolean so first of all let me divide this so let's select the cube at the top hold shift select the main one and just hold control and hit slash on an ampad that's the shortcut for the bool tool to create the boolean modifiers right here let me collapse the bevel modifier and right here you can see the boolean modifier added and what happened here basically the main cube got duplicated using the command and we have both of those if you go into the edit mode you can still see is the whole thing but now we have two of them and both of them have boolean modifier one of them is set as intersect and the other one is set as difference and now we need to make sure that the booleans are above the bell modifier so we get these smooth edges on the boolean cutouts as well so just move them above like this and now we'll select this cube hold shift select the main cube and we'll do the same thing so hold control and hit slash on an ampad and now again we'll move this above but right now i want this to continue towards the top so first of all let's select this object right here you can see again this is duplicated and if you go into the edit mode this is the whole cube still so the only difference is in these boolean modifiers and now we'll just need to remove the top one the original one select the cutout cube hold shift select the top part and hold control and hit minus on an ampad that's another command to create a difference boolean modifier right here and this is exactly the solution we need right here now tidy up these booleans so let's just move them above the bevel modifier and i will collapse them so it's easier to see now the same thing will happen here at the bottom part and here this is already done so this is your basic sci-fi crate and of course you can now press g then y and move this outside a little bit and if you want to make things a little bit more intricate and complicated you can press shift a add another cube now let's look from the top and let's enable x-ray view now tap into the edit mode press s to scale it down and press g to move it over the corner like this now we can select this edge right here and create the bevel there 
let's look from the front by pressing 1 on an numpad press a and gz to move this up like this now tab out and let's disable the x-ray view and now in the modifiers let's add mirror modifier and we'll enable y and both z and we'll cut out these corners so let's hold shift select the top lid let's hold control and hit slash on an numpad and now select the boolean object again hold shift select the bottom part hold control and hit slash to cut out the bottom as well and now again we'll need to tidy up the modifier stack so let's select this and again we'll move this above the bell modifier same here and for these parts as well so this is very easy way how you can stack those effects and you know create multiple cutouts like this now select this and press g then z and move it up a little bit and if you tab in you can still see this is the original object duplicated multiple times just having different boolean modifiers applied so let's press g then z here and now select everything hold shift select this part Control p and parent keep transform so now you have this nice sci-fi crate that you can move around you know and add different materials to it and in terms of materials if i hold z and switch to material preview now you can go ahead create a new material and change its color and you will see the whole thing changes because these are link duplicates and if you want to have different material here so let's say i will go back here and enable metallic for all of this but i want the lid to be red so let's select the lid and here you can choose the object mode for the materials and create a new material there and just change the color and for example roughness and you can do the same for these and change the material and for this if you want it to have like an emission material you can do the same thing create a new material switch to emission and let's say set something blue with strength of five and if you want to see it shine in EV, you can enable some of these modifiers right here with the bloom and you'll get a nice sci-fi crate uh, with nice light effect in the middle so that's it for the quick tutorial today i really hope you enjoyed this one and if you did please again leave the like and if you're new around here hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day mm -hmm.